the scale of suffering is almost unimaginable. Hello, this is Jane Goodall, and I'm really glad to share a few thoughts with you to help influence agricultural policy with regard to the welfare of animals farmed for food. There are three interconnected issues that are relevant to this discussion. The first, the damaging effect on the environment of intense animal farming. Huge areas are cleared for growing grain to feed the billions of imprisoned farm animals around the world. Massive amounts of fossil fuel are burned to take grain to animals, animals to slaughter and meat to table. And this, of course, releases huge amounts of the main greenhouse gas, CO2, into the atmosphere. An awful lot of water must be used to transform vegetable to animal protein and the methane gas produced during digestion is contributing greatly to the greenhouse gases and thus affecting climate change. The second issue is the harm to human health. Livestock manure is typically stored in open pits and if untreated emits airborne chemicals and fumes. And when runoff occurs, as during the rainy season, dangerous pollutants enter our waterways. To keep animals alive in the typical crowded, stressful conditions of factory farms, antibiotics are routinely fed. And this enables the bacteria to build up resistance, so that more and more antibiotics are now no longer useful for treating human disease. Factory farms provide ideal conditions for a pathogen, such as a bacteria or virus, to cross over from an animal to a person. If it bonds with a cell in the human body, it may create a new so-called zoonotic disease. One example is the pandemic that has affected every part of the globe and caused so much suffering and loss of life. The third issue is the welfare of the animals themselves. Selective breeding and genetic engineering have produced animals such as chickens and pigs that can hardly walk in order that they might produce more meat. It's now been scientifically proved that many animals, including birds, are sentient, capable of feeling emotions like contentment, fear and of course pain. Cows, when allowed to, form close bonds with their offspring, and both mother and calf exhibit signs of emotional stress when they're separated. Pigs are as intelligent as dogs, sometimes more so. When you think of these animals, imprisoned in the horribly cruel conditions of factory farms, unable to express any of their natural behaviour, the scale of suffering is almost unimaginable. I want to thank everyone who's been working on this issue. Let's work to effect change for the sake of the environment, human health and the animals.